Hey there, Mary Sheila here with Bi Youth Labs. And one of the things we want to consider if we have high blood pressure is we want to support and protect the kidneys because they play a big role in regulating the body's blood pressure. And sometimes blood pressure reflects the health of our kidneys. So I want to share with you today some ways that you can specifically support the kidneys, especially if you have high blood pressure. Now the connection when it comes to blood pressure is that high blood pressure can damage the blood vessels of our kidneys and lead us to kidney disease. So we wanna be sure to work with our healthcare provider to manage our blood pressure and keep it under control. And the steps that you can specifically take to reduce blood pressure to support the kidneys is to reduce your salt intake. Because if you consume too much salt, that can raise your blood pressure and put strain on your kidneys. So the best way to do this is to reduce your intake of refined processed carbohydrates. So things that come in a package that are usually gonna be found in your cupboard or maybe even processed meats and salted foods, right? So choose whole raw nuts and seeds versus salted and roasted. Choose cut up vegetables versus crackers and chips. I know crackers and chips are so delicious, but they're so addicting and they have such a high quantity of salt and it's often refined table salt, which is even more acidic and harsh on our kidneys. The next important step to support the kidneys is to stay hydrated. We want to make sure that we're drinking plenty of purified, clear, still water because that can help us to flush out the extra waste products and support our healthy kidney function. So we wanna make sure you have at least around eight glasses of water a day or more if you're physically active or you live in a hot climate. I will share one side note. When I was a teacher at a nutrition college, I had a student who had been a oncology nurse. And she said the people that did the best with chemo treatments were those that drank enough water. That's because all the chemotherapy that comes into the body even though it's medicine during the time of treatment, it's still highly toxic. And guess who has to filter all that toxin and all that chemotherapy is your kidneys. So when we dilute that with more water, we're going to ease the strain on the kidneys. And it's the same thing if we're not drinking enough water, then all, everything that's going in is more concentrated versus diluted for the kidneys. You don't need to go overboard and drink like a gallon of water. In fact, that might even be too much, but you want to drink uh, at least eight glasses every day, breaking it up throughout the day and ideally in between meals and not just with your food. You don't want to dilute all your digestive juices when you're eating. I talk about that more in other videos. So as a part of this community, you're going to learn a lot about how to support all of your systems in your body for optimal health and vitality because that's the name of the game. And the next tip is to eat a healthy diet. A balanced diet that emphasizes whole and unprocessed foods can help support kidney function. So I really wanna encourage you to eat plenty of whole foods at every meal. The more whole and complex and least processed and closer to the earth, the better your body is gonna receive that food because that's what the human body and our DNA is really used to. We're not used to these highly processed foods that have just been around for a little tiny slice of our time, right? So we want to make sure we're getting good quality food that our body recognizes as food, that it's recognized as food for the millennia of our existence. We also want to pay attention to our alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can raise our blood pressure and actually damage the kidneys. So Yes, alcohol can be relaxing and it's very social, but it can also be damaging on the inside to the kidneys, to the cardiovascular system, even to the brain. It can affect our sleep. It can impair our judgment. It can be dangerous if we get it behind the wheel, as we all know. And, you know, a lot of times we'll eat more, we won't sleep as well. And all of those things that are a result of alcohol consumption can raise our blood pressure and can be damaging on the kidneys. So reduce your alcohol consumption. I always like to say, whatever it is now, can you cut it in half, right? And that's a great place to start. And the next tip is to exercise regularly. 
Regular physical activity can help lower your blood pressure and support healthy kidney function. Again, at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise on most days of the week is a secret great formula that can totally support blood pressure and be so nourishing to the kidneys. It's fun when you think about it that way, like I'm gonna go for a walk because that's gonna be good for my kidneys. <laughs> I don't know, that's just how I think sometimes. And then the next tip is to quit smoking if you're a smoker. Smoking can raise your blood pressure and damage the blood vessels in the kidneys. So I know that's a tough one to accomplish. I know because I've actually never been a smoker, but I have a couple of really good friends who I've watched struggle with it for 30 years. I've helped them come on and off, well, not off, off, back on it, but I've helped them come off of it multiple times. I know the struggle is real, but it is one of those things that you kind of got to go cold turkey with. There's a lot of support and aids around that, even if there's you know, the nicotine patches or the gums or this and that, but those can all be really helpful to help you wean off of cigarettes. So whatever you have to do to get there and, you know, getting outside and taking deep breaths and exercising can really help because sometimes that's what a smoker needs and it needs, smoker needs to so get, get out of Dodge, take some deep breaths outside. So can you still find ways to create that space for yourself without the smoking itself? I hope these are helpful steps for you. Again, if you think about blood pressure, you can't think about it without thinking about your kidneys. And your kidneys take a big brunt when you have high blood pressure. So support those little beautiful glands that are on the backside of your body and support them by the tips that I share today. And stay tuned for more support around what you can do. And we're here to support you as much as we can at BioYouth Labs. We're grateful to have you in the community and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. <music>